it's been operating. I mean, there's been some good days and some bad days for sure. Um, but last week was a good week of uh, recovery and had a good day yesterday. Uh, Sunday was the lightest day since uh, I started rehab and also the worst day I've had in a while. But um, uh, yesterday was a good day. Today is a good day. I'm making a lot of progress. And, um, you know, every day it's like just a little something, a little less swelling, a little... Uh, uh, a little more movement, a little more mobility, a little more strength. And so we're building it up and just just a process. Now, when it comes to my Jets, that was obviously a frustrating game for us. Um, you know, not the best weather conditions, but uh, plenty of opportunities to win that game. Defense, I felt like, played great, minus the, you know, the one play that they had for a, a long touchdown. We shut them down in the second half, and, and uh, um, I think they only scored on a safety in the second half. So offensively we got to find a way to score points what do you say to zach in a moment like this and how does he keep all that noise out and still try to find the confidence to be a better quarterback that the new york jets need you think well you gotta find a way to block some of that out i mean obviously you're gonna hear about it or somebody's gonna text you something or you might see some of a conversation about it but when it's when you're riding high you can't get into it too much it's like when it's the whole world feels like it's crashing down and you can't get you can't get uh uh, you know, too wrapped up in that. Um, listen, the team was one and two last year and, and went on a, a really good run and turned things around and came to Lambeau and beat the hell out of us and, and uh, you know, obviously struggled down the stretch. But um, this is what teams have to go through. You know, there, there's, there's adversity points in every season. This year it's happening early and people are coming, coming for us. Uh, and there's, you know, some... Uh, heated conversations on the sideline and different things. I think we need to hold our poise a little bit better across the, really just offensively. You know, we need to, uh, to not have some of those things happen on the, on the sideline and, and to be a little better and to be a little, uh, uh, just be a little better competitors. You know, we need to understand this is part of it. And it's not always going to be pretty. The most important thing is winning. You know, there's been, I think, too many little side conversations and we just need to grow up a little bit. Um, on offense and and lock in and do our jobs everybody and not point fingers at each other and that's everybody you know we don't point fingers at the coaching staff don't point fingers at each other just get back to work and get the job done um you know it's it sucks not being there it's tough it is really it's really hard i miss the guys i miss the leadership opportunity miss balling and competing i feel like you know if i was there uh, some of those, you know, things wouldn't be happening. Not sure we'd be three and zero. I don't know that. I'd like to think um, there's a possibility of that, but but it's more the side stuff that's that's uh, that I don't like, and that I, I want to see us stick together through the tough times. I said it to him, you know, in preseason. You know, our, our toughest task is being handling success, and that's whether we're having success or not having success. It doesn't mean you're winning all the time and you got to handle it the right way. It's when we're not having success. How do we respond? How do we respond in adversity? And that goes for our fan base and former players as well. You're not helping the cops. <laughs> You're not helping the cops. We have to understand the importance of manifestation and what we're putting out in the world. We also have to be realistic as well. I'm not, we're not living in this uh, you know, rose-colored glasses world either. We're one and two. Been a couple rough ones. Um, defense, we played good enough to win that game for sure. That's a game we got to win. At home, defense giving up 13 points, we got to win that game. Um, no doubt about it. But let's just... Let's stay, let's stay behind our guys. Let's, let's support our guys. Let's support the boys on the field. Uh, let's stick with our guys, and let's have a little belief. Um, because as we saw this weekend, anybody can beat anybody. And I've already seen, you know, we're almost double-digit underdogs at home against Kansas City, and they're coming off a beat down in Chicago and blah, blah, blah. But, Taylor, you know, it's a home game. It's Sunday Night Football. It's an opportunity for us to go out there and, and show what we're all about. And I think uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for our boys. And I'd like to see everybody stick together, our fan base, our former players, and our current players, because uh, too much uh, negativity uh, and the world is crashing down after three weeks. It's a long season, a lot of time, a lot of things that can happen. Um, so let's just let's just take a couple breaths. Okay, I'm not going to say we need to relax, but let's take a couple breaths. All right, and then let's, uh, you know, it's going to be some fun things on Sunday, I think. This is going to test us. How do we respond this week against a real good football team, the defending champs in our home? 
be interesting to see how our fans respond too. I hope you show up. Don't be selling a bunch oh. of those damn tickets to the to the Kansas City crowd and and uh, Fireman Ed. Let's be loud. Let's get that thing going and mm-hmm. and uh, you never know who you're gonna who you're gonna see at the game. Oh. Whoa. 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 